Hey guys, um, it's been a while. I'm so sorry for how long it's taken me to come on here and make another vlog. Um, I have a lot of news and updates and um, obviously you can tell I've dyed my hair again. I'm back to Ariel Red. Um, the color here isn't exactly what it is. It's pretty close. My camera doesn't always show things really the way that they actually look, but it's got a little bit more orange in it. It's not quite as neon in person, I don't think. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm excited to be red again. I've missed it, and everybody had to tell me. Everybody said that you know they wanted me to go back to red, and I didn't do it for them. I did it for me. But um, but yeah, it was really fun for the past year to experiment with all different hair colors, and I don't regret it. I'm very glad that I got to. Uh, do different stuff like pink and purple and white and you know it was really fun but um but yeah it's nice to be back I really do feel like this is like I don't know the real me I feel like I'm a redhead at heart and uh, it just fits me so um, I'm sure I'll probably be red for for quite a while now unless something comes up and I need to do something else but um, thank goodness for wigs right um, but but yeah so I am back and uh, just don't forget I'm Tracy too I'm not just Ariel I'm Tracy too um, <laughs> I think sometimes people get uh, you know they get so obsessed with the Ariel thing that they forget that uh, you know I'm also me <laughs> but anyways um, okay so I have some news and stuff and lots of cool things have been going on I've been traveling so much that I have just not had time to make videos and um, I'm really sorry. I just I need to get back on here more and do this a lot more. And I'm really gonna try. I'm really endeavoring to uh, make quite a few videos a month now. I'm gonna see if I can do it, but um, do my best. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, so basically, the first thing that I wanted to well, okay, the first thing, first thing I wanted to say is I know I still owe you guys an extension vlog um, that is coming. I uh, I'm gonna be doing that. I don't have quite enough time today. Um, I it, it's. It's going to take me a little extra time probably to be doing that one in the setup and everything. Um, but I am going to be making a vlog soon showing you guys that second video from my um, my last extension vlog and uh, showing how I put my extensions in and um, all that jazz. So I will be doing that. Um, I won't forget, I promise. Um, but I just want to make a vlog here just to kind of do some updaters and, uh, and news and stuff like that. Um, and uh, the other thing that I really wanted to kind of say really quick here to start is... Um, I think what I'm going to be doing from now on is I'm going to try to just kind of stay dedicated to this channel. For those of you guys that don't usually see my vlogs, um, you might be seeing this and going, why isn't she singing? Um, I, I've i had two YouTube channels. You know, I've got um, this one, which is youtube.com slash Tracy J. Hines. I don't know why I ever put the J in there. I don't know why I thought it was relevant, but <laughs> um, this was the first channel that I ever started, and this is where most of my content is, especially um, my cover songs and stuff. And then, um, after I'd been on YouTube for a little while, I started my YouTube.com slash Tracy Hines, which is uh, sort of my vlog channel, and I've got original stuff on there, and I've got, um, I don't know, just randomness that I've thrown up on there, like photo shoot stuff and whatever. But um, it's getting confusing for people, and I did it way back then because um, YouTube was different then, um, basically from what I understood years ago, if you wanted to be a partner on YouTube, um, you had to have a content that was all original, I mean, you had to have a channel that was all original content, and uh, that's what I was trying to do with that, and basically, you know, the game has changed a lot, and you don't have to do that anymore, now it's kind of video by video, and, um, you know, all, all of that is kind of, you know, behind me, and water under the bridge, and randomness, and so, um, uh, hopefully I'm making sense today. <laughs> I'm still recovering from Comic-Con. Um, but yeah, uh, so I figured people, you know, were getting confused and it's it's like I'm trying to kind of juggle two different, um, you know, YouTube pages and I'm not going to delete the, the other, the vlog channel or anything. I'm just going to leave it there and I may use it from time to time to just post stuff you know, maybe that I don't want to necessarily post here, but I noticed that, you know, my audience is definitely um, mostly here, and so I figure you guys don't have to watch the blogs if you don't want to. I know I'm boring. I know it's awkward, but um, I know, you know, some people want to stay up to date because they write me and ask me to make these. I don't know why I would say it, but um, but I will if you want to know, you know, I'll totally make them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to be starting to post most of, if not all, of my content here on this YouTube channel from here on out just because for me it may, it 
bleh, makes things a lot easier. And hopefully it'll make things easier for you guys too. But I really, I've got a lot of video projects underway. Um, they take a lot of time and, uh, you know, I can't just throw them up there. I've got, um, it's, a, it's like a project, you know, but I've got some cool stuff in the works for this summer and this year. So don't, you know, don't think I'm only going to be talking. I'm definitely going to be singing too. So, um, so yeah, okay, we're at five minutes now and uh, I wanted to update you guys with the other just cool stuff I've gotten to do lately. Um, obviously, I think, uh, well, you, maybe you don't know because it was on my other channel, but I talked to my last vlog about um, my show. I recently got to perform at Anime Expo a couple weeks ago. Um, it was really fun. I performed at their lounge and, uh, you know, Anime Expo is like my home con. That's where I got started and um, it's just sort of what opened a lot of doors for me and uh, so it was great getting to go back there and, and bring my new music and um, getting to do that live there. So that was really, really fun. I enjoyed the con a lot, had a lot of fun with my friends and I dressed up as Peter Pan one day and ran around and everyone thought I was a boy. Well, I don't know about everyone. I was recognized like once or no, I was like like twice, every, but you know, no one knew who I was. And I was like running around and I, I think people thought I was a boy uh, until I talked and then I sounded like a girl, but um, it was super fun. I love Peter Pan and I love Neverland. So that was like awesome. Um, and I got to wear, uh, it, part of it was, you know, um, Lisa Fabio's costume. She's an amazing designer. So that was really cool. And uh, um, yeah, so, so that was Anime Expo and just fun times. And then I, you know, got back from Anime Expo, got sick, rested on the couch for a week, and then packed up and went to Comic-Con. <laughs> and I just got back from Comic-Con. So Comic-Con was amazing, as usual. I actually went red, like, right before, like, the day before Comic-Con, um, just to kind of be back to me and um it was it was really fun I obviously I did Ariel there because I always cosplay Ariel at Comic-Con it's sort of my thing um and I actually won a costume or I don't know if it's like a costume contest I got a hall costume award um I'm wearing the shirt right now see from the costume designers guild um really excited I was like stopped in the hall and they were like hey we want to give you an award and I was like what and they were like yeah so I was very um, honored to receive that because uh, my Ariel costume is actually l one of the only costumes I've made myself, um, that one that I was wearing. And uh, so that really meant a lot to me that they appreciated, you know, it was, it was my design. It was something that I came up with myself and um, my, my zipper fin that I can zip down into a full fin um, when I sit and then I can unzip it and walk around when I'm on the go. <laughs> um, so that was really cool. And uh so that happened. I did like super hipster Snow White. I, ju I was just random. I just wanted to wear one of my other fun wigs. So I was like, oh, bring Snow White because I don't get to wear that very often. So I wore my Snow White wig and then I threw on like random clothes that I had in my closet. And um, I got a, a cape from Anime Expo that was red. And I was like, this works. <laughs> um, so it was random. But I had a lot of fun. We just ran around. We're crazy and enjoyed the con. Met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of you guys. So thank you so much to all of you that came up and said hello. Um, and that, you know, that really meant a lot to me to hear from a lot of you guys that you're enjoying the music and, um, you know, some of my new singles and stuff. I heard a lot about um, cause and effect. So I'm really glad that you guys like it. Um, it just really touches me to meet people and you know hear that uh they enjoy what I do so it you know it makes it real like it makes it um you know tangible it's, it's funny because when you're on YouTube and you see like the views and you see comments and stuff it's like you know it's real but then it makes it that much more um I don't know it just affects me when people come up to me in person and I realize that like these numbers all represent an individual like you know that, but then when you actually meet people in person and, like, see their reactions and, like, you know, I, I don't know. It just, it's really cool to know that, you know, like, it matters, you know, like, th that people actually listen to my music and, and you know, care about what I'm up to. Like, it just, it means a lot, you know, because I... I just love what I do and I love getting to do it and the fact that you guys are like listening and buying the music and staying posted means that I get to keep doing it. So thank you um, from the bottom of my heart. It, it really, really means a lot. Um, so that was like, that was a, you know, really special to me to get to meet a lot of you guys. Um, and I'm trying to think what else happened at Comic-Con. It was like craziness. It was just so much. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, I think the best thing about Comic Con is just friends and getting to spend time with them and make new ones and, and meet people and, and make connections, you know. So that was just, uh, it was cool. Um, and I wrote a lot more. I'll be posting pictures and stuff on my Facebook, and, you know, there's a lot more that I'll post. But I just wanted to make a little blurb that says, yay, Comic Con. Um, okay, and then I had a couple of awesome things happen that may have flown under your radar if you're still watching um, <laughs> um, that I wanted to vlog about, and I just got too busy to do it right then and there. So it's all on my website. It's been on my Facebook. It's been on my Twitter. So maybe you've seen it. Maybe you've heard about it. But just in case you haven't, I thought I would mention it. I'm talking really fast so that I don't make this video like 30 minutes long. Um, <laughs> is that uh, I, first of all, the Lime Crime, um, the Aquitania palette came out. Um, that was right after Anime Expo. I think it was on like the 5th of July. Um, but I modeled for Lime Crime recently. I was their mermaid. And uh, you may have seen the pictures. I was blonde in the pictures, like really white, you know, light blonde hair. And it was like a moon mermaid. So I was sitting on the moon. And um, it was, the photo shoot was just amazing. I had an amazing time working with them. And I just, I absolutely love the palette. And uh, it, it's really neat because um, Doe actually, Doe Deer, the creator and founder of Lime Crime, um, she contacted me months and months ago and asked me um, about, you know, this and if it would be all right with me if she would create a palette that was um, in part inspired by me. And, you know, she told me that a lot of my photo shoots and, and things that I do and my singing um, kind of inspired her and the whole mermaid thing, you know. And so she actually, um, this palette, this collection of colors was like in part inspired by me. And so that like freaks me out. It's so cool. I just, I can't believe that like she would, you know, um, be that inspired. And I, I'm just really honored to get to model it, let alone be an inspiration for it. So um, it was amazing. And I got to work with um, uh, my good friend Joella and Elam, who did the costume. And it was just it was the most beautiful thing ever. It's very unique and um, like nothing else I've ever worn before as a mermaid performer. So it was really cool. And um, I, I mentioned before I got to be at IMAT's um, actually live modeling for Lime Crime. Um, but the Aquitania palette has been released. It's on their website. Their website got a whole mermaid makeover and it is beautiful and it's so rad. And uh, um, so visit LimeCrimeMakeup.com and get the palette for yourself. They sold out at IMAT. It's like, within, I think after like the first day. So um, they're, you know, everyone's really loving the palette. I love it. I use it all the freaking time. The colors are so vibrant and they're all colors that I wear a lot. Like especially um, like the purple and the teal and the coral are just Oh, they're so gorgeous. Sorry, like that. Um, I should probably call them by their actual names, but you'll know what I mean when you see the palette. Um, they have such cute names. But, um, but yeah, so that happened. All the photos were released. I've been uploading them slowly to my networks, but definitely go and look at them on the website. Check out all the inspiration for the photo shoot. Um, there's some really fun, like, behind the scenes stuff. We recreated uh, this, um, this gorgeous uh, artwork by Nicole West. I think that's her name, um, Nicole West Fantasy, Fantasy Design. Um, but yeah, she creates these dolls that look so realistic. It looks like a photograph of a person. And um, and there was this beautiful uh, doll that's a mermaid riding the moon. It's called the Moon Rider, and she's sitting on the moon. And so that is, uh, that's what Doe used as the inspiration. And so I was kind of that doll brought to life. So that was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so feel free to, to check it out. Aquitania is the palette. It's an eyeshadow palette, which is a collection of um, really heavily pigmented, um, shimmery, eyeshadows that can be used both on your eyes and on your cheeks as well. I use actually I use the coral a lot um, on my cheeks to mix in with my blush and it's really cool, really pretty. So um, that's the Lime Crime stuff that's going on and they're actually having a contest right now um, for you to create your own mermaid look and receive I think it's a $50 gift card. I haven't I need to um, go and get all the information. I just shared it on my Facebook yesterday and my Twitter and stuff, so um, you can uh, you know check it out on the Lime Crime Facebook there. Um, but yeah, I'll try to post a link to that because um, for any of you guys that are makeup artists or mermaid lovers or Lime Crime lovers or whatever, um, it, you know it's a pretty cool contest. I'd totally enter if I wasn't you know already rocking the Lime Crime mermaid. So <laughs> and I you know and it's like at this point I work with them, so I'm not you know I'm not gonna go like enter their contest, but. Um, definitely think their contests are amazing and I highly support them and I love Mason Lime Crime. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm wearing Glamour 101 right now, one of their red lipsticks. Um, uh, let's see, so that's Lime Crime and my 
love for the project that I got to do with them. Um, also, uh, just as exciting is uh, I recently got to do vocals for a song. Um, you may have heard about it. Oh my gosh, we're 15 minutes. Ah, sorry, it's so long. Um, you can click off if you're bored. Go to my website. It's all there, and it's qu quicker to read. Um, <laughs> but um, I was asked to do vocals for this song called My Secret Agent, which was written, inspired by, um, I mean, it was written for uh, Agent P, or Perry the Platypus from Phineas and Ferb. Um, it's kind of in, in connection with Disney. Basically, um, this song, My Secret Agent, was written by David Ortega of Boston Sound Labs, and he um, had me do the vocals for it. And basically what the song was is it was uh, featured on Tap Tap Revenge, which is a, it's like an iPhone game, you know, where you, it's, it's kind of like DDR for your fingers, like you play it along with the music. Um, so it was the featured track, and it was like the free track for a week on Tap Tap Revenge. Um, I have Tap Tap Revenge 4, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's on all the different versions. But So it was that, but it was also like in, in connection with this new um, app called Where's My Perry, um, similar to Where's My Water, but it's Where's My Perry, like Perry the Platypus. And, uh, and so this song was kind of tied in with the new app that was just released, and the app has been number one on the iTunes store for like over a week now, I think a couple weeks. I don't know if it's still at number one right now. Um, it may be, but it was for quite a while, and it got a really good uh, response, so that's so cool. But, um, but yeah, so... Uh, um, so this song, you know, was, um, you know, really, really, uh, awesome to do and it was a great opportunity and I'm so grateful that I got to do the vocals for it and I really love how it turned out. I think it, uh, I think it's a really cool song, you know, and so, um, if you guys want to check it out, you can buy it on iTunes now. I'll put the link down below and, uh, um, I, it, I think it's still on Tap Tap Revenge. I just it's not the feature track anymore, but I think you can still get it on Tap Tap Revenge as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I did this whole photo shoot with my brother Cam, um, and it came out so rad. Like I, I think so, at least I don't know. We did kind of like a retro, um, kind of inspired by film noir, but uh, I don't know. It it just turned out really fun, and uh, I'm wearing like a trench coat, and I've got my short like short like red wig and. Um, we kind of created a character, and I got a ray gun with smoke coming out of it, and fog machine, and it's kind of epic. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with it. But, um, but yeah, so you can check out those photos on my DeviantArt, on my Facebook, on my website. If they're not there already, they will be soon. Um, but, yeah, so that's those have been kind of like the main things that have been going on in my life okay this vlog is like 20 minutes so I'm gonna go because this is way too long but I'll make more soon and I'm still uh excited for Merpalooza so don't forget to go and get your tickets for that because I will be there um as a mermaid and uh I would love to see you so that's gonna be in Orlando next month okay I'll make a separate vlog about that soon too okay bye guys